Chile. Is that how you pronounce it? Chile. In Chile is the most stable nation in South America, boasting a high ranking on the Human Development Index, as well as the lowest homicide rate of the continent. But how did such a utopia come about? Simple. It's all just coastline. A study done by my old university showed that people living near the sea have better lives. So today, I decided to trust the science and apply this logic to EU4. In this video, I can only expand via coastal provinces and only ally nations that obey the same rules. We'll see if science actually holds any merit or if it's all just fake. Something that isn't fake though, is that we're close to 50,000 subscribers. So if you end up liking the video, please do consider subscribing as it gets us just that little bit closer to 50K. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so summer is upon us and typically people go on holiday. But because of a little thing called coronavirus, I've not been able to go on holiday. So instead, I'm going to do something that is not sad. And I'm going to do a coastline challenge on EU4 to celebrate a holiday that I never got to take this year. Or last year. Anyway, so today we're going to be playing as Genoa because they start with um, every single province of theirs being a coastline. And there's not as many countries that do that. <laughs> no one cares about homers. We're going to be playing as Genoa. And I'm only allowed to conquer coastline provinces. So... Let's see how we get on. Right, so anything around me that has a coastline, I will be rivaling. Uh, Milan, you're useless to me. Crimea, however, you have quite a bit of coastline. I mean, I fancy a holiday in the Black Sea, so this, this works. It's actually my first time ever playing as Genoa in EU4. <laughs> Over 2,000 hours, but still, never played as Genoa. Same as last time, I'm only allowed to ally nations that, you know, are coastline. So, kind of screws me up. It's Albania. Technically, no, they don't count as a coastline nation. Thank God. Granada, though. All right, is my general any good? Oh, my leader is a definitely a good general. Two star, three three. That. Mm. Oh, he has no one in his fort. Yeah, I have to go. I have to go. I am outnumbered. Um, there's no way I can ignore this. I can't pass this up. Let's do it. Ten five thousand there. Let's go take out Montferrat in the meantime. Excellent. Okay. God. Right. This should be. This is not, it's not going to be an easy war to fight, but it shouldn't be too difficult. I am outnumbered, obviously. But that's sort of the standard, isn't it? <laughs> in EU4. I'm not sure. See, look, this is why I don't like the AI can just, you know, skip through my fort. I can't skip through that fort. Right, I'm happy to sit here and recuperate for a little bit. Is that mountains? Yeah, he won't attack me in the mountains. Unless he's an idiot. Do it, do it, do it. No. Man, the AI is like comic timing, really isn't there. <laughs> That's mine, apparently. Great, my guy died. <laughs> okay, technically he's dead, but we're not going to tell him that. And we're going to quickly go and use him <laughs> to win a few battles first. Oh, God, that's... Yeah, I'm going to get out of this war. I'm going to stack right there for a bit more war score. Like 3% more or so. And then I'm going to get out. The 12th. Okay, let's just get out of this war. I don't really want to... <laughs> I don't want to mess around with that one. Risk it at all. Okay, that sounds good to me. There goes the piece. We are off to a flying start. So, Sakasi only has one province left. And I can fight Crimea without fighting Crimea's allies if I take it. So, this sounds like a win-win to me. Brittany wants an alliance. Oh, you're so close to being coastline. If you didn't have Renee, I could do it. Oh, no. Wait, can I ally anyone that is actually... Do this. Can I ally anyone who is on the coast? Um, God, there's so many good allies. France would ally me. Everyone else would ally me. Uh, the Byzantines, technically. Yeah, the Byzantines are a coastal nation. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Well, I'm glad I didn't ally the Byzantines then. <laughs> I was more focused about the trade league stuff. All right. Now, let's see what we can do. Okay, we'll be fighting Crimea and Georgia. Um, for some reason, Crimea has very little army. Okay, let's do it. Why not? Oh, they're marching around. They're probably going to go... Do they have... Yeah, they have military access through the Ottomans. Awesome. Okay, well, actually, I can deal with that. We just, uh... Then one cog to the Aegean Sea, and then I'll stop an entire army. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't really want to take too much else just yet, because it'll be coalition. Money. I like money. Uh, and... War operations. And also... Give up your... Cool. Nope. Okay, that's good. Brilliant. I'll... <laughs> they lost 90 men. We're really super effective, weren't you? Gain of stability. Oh, this is this is actually actually you know more often. This is great. Inevitably something will go wrong, but for now this is great. The Cassian separatists. Oh no, Crimea. Deal. Please deal with that. I need to stop talking, man. I don't think they can deal with that anymore. 
I suppose Poland can now. Right, I've made two carrots so I can just blow things up for when uh, sieges happen. <laughs> oh, France wouldn't come in by minus one. Jesus. Okay. I mean, I have to fight this. Siena, Saluzzo. Easy enough. Uh, demand free access. The Ottoman Empire may respond with a declaration of war. Okay. Okay, my heart. Okay. Awesome. Good. <laughs> that was almost very bad indeed. Just keep running. We can keep running forever. <laughs> they can't stop us. Oh no, they can. They definitely can. I'm going to get another general just to save you guys. Okay. There we go. And retreat to Siena. And you retreated to Saluzzo. <laughs> get out of there, lads. You got this. Run. Just run, boys. I got caught over here again. <laughs> Montferrat is the graveyard of Genoa. Aragon insulted me. What? Why? Is that sorry thing on your head what passes for a crown in Genoa? I'm a, I'm a doge. It's hurtful. Okay, come on, lad. Here we go. This is an important battle here. I think we won that. Easy. Right. Lovely. Seven more score. And is it a stack wipe? It's a stack wipe. Okay, I think they're done. I think they're done. All right, we're getting there. I think we need to start crawling this way. But I think luck is in a trade league. Hmm. Moldavian Yerisan is not something I thought I'd see today. And I'll be honest, I'm not happy about it. Okay, so some of you might have spotted what I'm going to try and do here. Um, it's, it's not a good idea. <laughs> In fact, I'd wager it's a very, very bad idea. But I'm doing it anyway. That's why I need the ships. And then they should be... Okay, right. Load up. God, there's going to be a lot of them. God, there's just a lot of them just marching around. I don't know what they're doing. Right, we won the siege. <laughs> That's good, I suppose. It's only 13,000 troops. I'm going to... This is a stupid idea because it's France. But I need military access, please avoid... You won't give it to me. Okay, well, die then. I mean, what do you mean to do? I, I could have helped you. They'll probably beat me in an in, in, in extended siege race, but I can, I can take a couple of provinces from under their nose. I reckon. And I do have a Miltech advantage. Um, I'm actually regretting this a lot. I thought that Savoy War had gone a little bit longer than it did. I mean, that doesn't help either. Scotland is landing troops. Why would you do this? It's just 12 cogs. Oh, we are going to catch them. Oh, 12 cogs are about to go to sleep. All right, some of these troops are returning home and they're just killing themselves, which I'm not going to complain about. Oh, dear. This is bad. This is, there's 19,000 of them. There's 19,000 of them. Okay, I'm going to retreat slightly. Didn't see that. You ban suppress rebels. Screw it, you've already revolted. Oh, God. Uh, in fact, let me send a 1,000 men there. Oh, my God, I won. Okay, right, right. That was really painful, though. Oh, dear. We'll just win these two sieges. There's one. There's one. I've let the, the Scottish land. How have I let the Scottish land? I mean, that looks good to me. I'll take the two provinces. I don't need anything else. <laughs> and there we go. I've actually beaten the French. I am stunned. Oh, that's brilliant. Look at that. I've been warned by France. Yeah, that, that went well for you last time, didn't it? Right. I think it, it, it's time for us to leave the HRE. <laughs> nice. Manchua declared war on Milan. They cite government form. I mean, it's ballsy. I'll, I'll give you that, Manchua. Is it just you? Yeah, it is. <laughs> they're taking it upon themselves. They can't even siege the capital, but they're taking it upon themselves to change Milan's government. Like, hey, man, go for it. I'm sorry, but when someone's at war with the Ottomans, I think that's the best time to declare war on them. So, <laughs> I don't see a reason why not. Oh, they destroyed part of my fleet. There we go. Got you, didn't I? Hmm? So what happens when you destroy my fleet? And destroy your fleet. And in the meantime, let's go help out the Ottomans. If I destroy the Venetian navy, that should help them out quite a bit. That is a huge naval battle, and I don't want to be here. We lost two galleys. I don't. There's no. There's no point in me fighting a naval battle that big. I'm build more. I'm get a flagship. All right, the flagship is ready. I could just get out this war now, but I spent this long on a flagship. I'm using it. Sail up here, and there's no one. Cool. Okay. So that entire thing was pointless because the Venetians don't want to fight anymore. Excellent. All right, well, <laughs> bye, Venice.
basic financial instruments. Good, we're going to need them to count out the dead bodies of the uh, Far East. That's uh, one, two, five thousand. <laughs> right, quite a few people join a coalition against me, but I really can't resist all this coastline. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I want more coastline. See Sardinia. I did do that. I did see Sardinia. You know, the most satisfying thing about EU4 is, is the beautiful name placement. Uh, I literally stretch from one side of the Mediterranean, you know, to Italy. And it's, no, it's focused around my core areas of Corsica and Siena. Great job, game. Great job. Oh, here comes the coalition. I mean, I'm really not in a fit state for this, but I kind of have to just declare war immediately. Got to keep the coalition off my back, so. Florence, Milan, I mean, the numbers are roughly even, so let's do it. Oh, and uh, the port is not occupied. Let's keep improving relations of, of everyone who will potentially join a coalition against me. Starting with, ah, yes. Manchua, brilliant. Okay, there are quite a few troops. Will they just immediately peace out? That's the question. They would. Right, and there's a coalition for five years on my back. And that's how to get rid of a coalition, lads. <laughs> that's how to get rid of a goddamn coalition. That was the most perfectly executed one. I'm glad I got that on camera because that was the most perfectly executed one I've ever done. All right, Morocco and Togurt. That's kind of scary. Let's do it anyway. Let's take two minutes. Primia looks like a disgusting mess of different colors. So I'm just never going to look at that again. And now to say something that's surely going to put me on a list. Time to blow up Tunis. I get a better general? I can. Do that. That stack wipe. That is ridiculous. What's your miltech? Five? My miltech is six. This is good. You're at war with someone or something. No. And you can make it there. So I don't know why the Moroccans aren't helping out. There we go. Provence. That's uh, slightly tougher of a coalition to fight. Probably fight the French. I just don't really want to. Silly declared war on Aragon. They cite independence. Um, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> why do you think you can take them? Oh, because Castile's getting involved. Oh, that is a bit more serious. <laughs> that'll, that'll do it. Am I going to get a nasty shock yet? Oh, uh, no. The opposite of a nasty shock, I think, is going to happen. Oh, I'm tearing through these guys. What the hell is going on? Morocco's on medium now. If I go and blockade him, he might even come out. Yeah, the Moroccans will come out. Perfect. Didn't even have to fight him. Okay, right, let me check my army stats. Yeah, we just got ridiculously high morale. Oh, because we're crusading and army tradition and everything else. Jesus. All right, Togorts, you're going to want to come out soon, I'm assuming. Yep, you're gone. Perfect. And that means Tunis will accept my peace officer. <laughs> my peace officer? My peace offer to take his entire coast line. <laughs> we can upgrade to a kingdom. We can, I don't know, do conquer Tunis. We could also take trouble in Tunis. And with that terrible blame placement, I think we'll leave it there. That's excellent. I think, thank you guys for watching. That has been uh, the coastline challenge. Uh, I think that that's quite the success. Uh, honestly, I'm at a point now where I would probably declare war on um, French uh, to defeat that coalition. And then just sort of slowly snake my way through um, the Caucasus region. Actually, that's probably going to be my next plan. Yeah. Attack the French, get rid of the coalition, go down into the Caucasus. Uh, attack the Mamluks come through here and just generally expand. Like, I think, to be honest, I'm now at a point where there's nothing really that can stop me. Just if you look at the sheer amount of money I'm making, like it's 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 kind of ridiculous. And that's the advantage of playing a, a trade republic. But yeah. Anyway, if you have any sort of suggestions, do let me know in the comments down below. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.